Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and I want to thank you for joining me on the Power Platform in Your PJs conference that's happening on Tuesday and Wednesday, April 28th and 29th. This is a hands-on event where you get to learn Power BI and Power Apps and Power Automate by doing. So my brother Devin and I are going to walk you through a number of demos, and there'll be some labs for you to do as well to get the most out of the experience and to learn by doing, not just by hearing us and seeing our demos. So to do that, I want to have you do a few of the prerequisites ahead of time to make sure you have all the systems and set up to get the most out of your day. So first of all, in the description down below, or in the email that I sent you, you'll find a number of links to go ahead and follow. The first link is going to be to download the Power BI desktop. Day one is all about Power BI, and it's an abbreviated version of the Dashboard a Day conference that we do all around the country with Microsoft. These conferences are heavy labs and heavy demos, and a little bit of slides also. So, to do that, make sure you go and download the Power BI desktop, which you can see in the link below at powerbi.com, or just you'll see here, just go ahead and, and, and which will take you here, pick the language you prefer, and hit download. Go ahead and install that Power BI desktop if you do not have it already. If you do have it, make sure you have the most uh, up-to-date version of it as well. After you do that, make sure you go ahead and download the dashboard in a day material, which you can find here. This dashboard and day material will walk you through uh, all the labs that you'll want. Go ahead and uncompress that zip file somewhere on your machine, and that will have all the labs you'll need to be successful on day one. Alternatively, you can also make sure you sign up for the service, the Power BI service. This can be down, let's be uh, signed up at powerbi.com. It's not a requirement for most of the day, but there is a portion of the day where we cover the Power BI service. Chances are your company has already licensed that for you, but if they have not, you can hit try it free to try it yourself. Next is, dash, is the app in a day, which is on day two. That's where I'll be leading the class on how to build a power app from the ground up. So to get the most out of this, you're going to want to have a Power Apps license. Now, and, that's, and you want to have a license that you can control the environment. So when you download the labs, which you'll find the link down below, uh, that will take you to a zip file to uncompress in your environment also. Once you com uh, compress that zip file, you'll notice there is a, a PDF that walks you through setting up your environment. The way you can find out if you have everything you need to actually do that is sign into your environment, go to Data and Entities, and click New Entity. If you had the proper permissions, it will let you actually see the next screen I'm going to click on in a moment here. Uh, you'll see this right here on the right. If you do not see that new, new entity or anything in that list right there, that means that you may not your, your administrator may have inadvertently or on purpose preventing you from doing that. So to do that, what you'll want to do is get the community plan. The community plan gives you 95% of what you're going to need, 100% uh, to, to what you need for the labs at least, and 94% of what you need for going forward. This is a non-production uh, license, and you'll go over to, uh, when you sign in, you'll see the link down below. Go to the community plan. You go to existing users. If you are a company user, click individual environment. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a, 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 a light, an environment inside of your company uh, that will you'll have full control over. If you don't want to, if, to use your company one, you can hit get started for free, create your own little domain, and then you're off to the races. This community plan does not never expires, and it's a non-production use for training and for just having fun in Power Apps. So if you go over here again, you'll see after you, if you click on that Get Individual Environment, you'll refresh the environment list, and then you'll see Brian Knight's environment or whatever your name's environment. This is your playground for doing Power Apps. The next thing you'll do is go to Data and Entities, and you'll see an icon that says Create Database. Go ahead and create that database, select the currency of your choice and the language of your choice, and then you'll be off to the races. So that's a community plan. There's no cost for you to participate in the conference or if you use a community plan for Power Apps. This is just a, uh, um, and then make sure you also, last thing is, is follow the instructions to kind of provision that environment. That's in that first PDF. You'll find the instructions for that in the email I sent or in the description of this video. Look forward to seeing you at the Power Platform in your PJs conference. 
get ready for a heavy hands-on experience. So make sure you have uh, uh, an environment with double monitors if you can, uh, where you can have uh, uh, no problem getting isolated right now, right? Because there's nobody at work right now. But uh, make sure you uh, come ready, ready to learn and, and ask us questions. We'd love to have audience participation as well. Have a great day, and I will see you on Tuesday for the Power Platform in your PJ's Conference.